Twilight Zone, Black Mirror? Nope, just reality. Up next, we'll tell you about a Wisconsin company that's planning to stick microchips into the bodies of its own employees. Stay tuned. Your point. The terrifying future of every 80s science fiction movie has finally arrived. A vending machine company in Wisconsin is offering to implant its employees physically in their bodies with microchips. Three Square Market says the chips, which are about the size of a grain of rice, can be used to access computers, operate printers, or buy goods from vending machines. Todd Westby is the owner of Three Square Markets. He's welcoming us to the brave new world, and he joins us tonight. Mr. Westby, thanks a lot for coming on. Yes, thank you for having me, Tucker. Glad to be here. So, um, I mean, on the one hand, of course, I uh, sal uh, salute your you know, American innovation. Uh, on the other hand, I shiver in horror at the level of control you'll have over your employees once you implant microchips in their bodies. Why would you do that? Well, that's really a misconception regarding the microchips. They're not GPS devices. Uh, we cannot track them in the workplace at all. They're basically used for conveniences that happen at the workplace right. and around the world. They're really no tracking devices at all, and we can't trace them anywhere. Yeah. Um, leaving aside the fact that, of course, I don't believe you, um, why, why not just give your employees cards? Do they not have pockets in their clothing? I mean, why would you want to inject them with something like this? They have access to uh, proximity cards, which will do the same thing as the chip. They also have access to uh, password or pin pads with four-digit logins that will get them in the building. However, uh, it's much more convenient to a lot of our employees being a technology company of break room markets and payment right. systems. It's the convenience factor that our employees are really in favor of. Um, do you tattoo them with anything? No, we do not. It's basically a uh, implant that goes right beneath the skin between your thumb and your forefinger. Now, if an employee had this implanted in his or her hand and then left your company, quit, could you pull them back using the chip? Could you instruct them no, to come back? No, we cannot. Uh, chances are they'll probably keep the chip in because we have a lot of non-employees that are actually going to be implanted with a chip on Tuesday next week along with uh, we've had calls from several hospitals and mm -hmm. about uh, over 20 businesses that are very interested in getting this chip. Now how you can change their opinions with these chips or their thoughts with the chips? Well we don't change your opinions or thoughts with this chips at all no there's there's no frequencies no you know uh, weird science that happens with it uh, it's just basically an RFID chip that has to be held within six inches of a proximity reader and earlier you mentioned uh, uh, passwords and uh, people having access to them one of the benefits of this chip is it literally eliminates passwords whatsoever anywhere within the business and you can log in with your uh, uh, microchip hand so that nobody knows the passwords not even you oh now i'm of course i'm joking in a lot of my questions but when you say there's no weird science in this we're just injecting a microchip into your body so you can use the printer we would at least concede there's some weird science in it well, it is out there as far as technology goes, but so was the driverless car 10 years ago, and now we have people sitting in it without a driver. Huh. That's still weird technology. <laughs> technology. Last question, Todd, really quick. Would you, um, would you be comfortable if the government or Amazon, same thing, I guess, did this to you? Well, they do it to the military right now, the government does, and it's a huge tactical advantage out on the uh, fields, uh, also with children, and we had a country call us regarding uh, kidnappings are having a problem, so okay. I guess it's the next thing. Okay. I'm going to opt out, but thank you, Todd. I really appreciate it. Thank you, We'll be Tucker. right back.